From Abby Lee, this is Maddie. Here we go. sunk to my stomach. I gotta go, I gotta go, excuse me. And I jumped off the bleachers and I ran to her right away and I thought she broke a bone. No, I don't say that. Come here. It's okay, honey, it was beautiful. Oh, Maddie, I thought you were supposed to do that. No. I couldn't really move my leg, it hurt so bad. I was nervous that if I couldn't dance ever again. I'd be mad. Maddie was so worried that Abby's gonna be mad at her because she did so poorly in her dance, which she didn't. She said, I dance terrible. I fell on my hip. My hip. <laughs> Abby's gonna be mad at me. I'm not gonna be mad at you, sweetie, but you started to dive. She was gonna dive. It was too slippery, like... I know, and you started to dive, and then in the middle, you second-guess yourself when you went for the area walkover, but you did a front toss. Abby came in, and she felt so bad for Maddie. Any blood? No, not even a bruise. Okay, good. We'll get up and walk around in just a minute. Good. Good. See, if you had a big butt and you landed on it, it wouldn't hurt. Like me. <laughs> dancers fall, and dancers get hurt. This may have been Maddie's first fall, but it certainly won't be her last. Sometimes your ego hurts more than your injury. Aw, look at how sweet. Miss Abby's care. Let me get the door. I'm so cold feet. <sighs> if any other girl fell, they would not be getting the same reaction from Abby. Hey, can you get your hair done, please? My kid, it would have been like, oh my god, you embarrassed me. I haven't had a kid do this in 50 years. Uh, Come on, everybody, let's go. Uh, Girls, let's go, let's go. I hurt my foot. You hurt your foot? Where's my kid? group rehearsal is starting again. Mackenzie is not in the rehearsal, and I have to see what's going on. Kenz, I'm coming. What's wrong, honey? I have to just go home. OK, but honey, <laughs> but don't cry. Why are you crying? I don't want to let her down. Aw, oh, honey, I know you don't. But you're not letting Miss Abby <laughs> down. It'll let her down if you hurt it worse. And she understands that. So how about we get some ice on it? It's OK. You just need to rest it. Mackenzie actually hurt her foot two weeks ago. And she's been really, you know, limping, and she's not doing well at all. How's your foot, Mackenzie? What happened? I'm so sad for Mackenzie because I think this dance probably the best dance that she's ever done, and she really shines in the dance. So she's so brokenhearted. Yes. I just want to tell you this is Mackenzie's probably most favorite dance. She hurt her foot doing a back tuck on front day, but it's not even swollen. I don't know what's really wrong with Mackenzie's foot. I kind of have to see how she's moving. Maybe it's all in her head. Maybe she just doesn't want to be in the group routine. Maybe she doesn't want to be the reason they don't win. Do you want to see what she can do and then? So she either needs to do it or she's out. I need to I need to work on it without her. OK, got it. Miss Abby wants you to put your, your boots on, Ken's. Just go in and see what you can do, OK? See, just try to do the dance, OK? Why, why is she having Mackenzie do the dance if she's hurt? Face, Mackenzie, face! And I think Melissa said, no, no, she loves the dance. I love point numbers, and that doesn't mean I can do them. Uh, I don't know what's quite going on, because like a second ago, Mackenzie was crying that her foot hurt, and now she's rehearsing with the group. Hmm. OK, girls, 
give one chance. That's the way it works. You all got lucky. Remember that. Do you think you can do the group dance? Because if you can't, I need to take you out. No fooling around, no walking, no going to the mall, walking on cement. If she's OK to dance, she'll dance. If not, it's more work for you. All right, now listen. You walked in, and you walked at least 50 feet in the hallway. If you can do that, you can dance. Your mother should have left you at home. Abby won't excuse a dancer from dancing unless you have a doctor's excuse. Mackenzie had to hand her a doctor's excuse saying she can't dance for at least 72 hours. Lo and behold, miraculously, appears the doctor's note. So you're going to get yourself in the audience, you're going to sit, and you're going to put your leg up. If you keep it dangling down, it's going to swell. Hey, if you can't do the number, then you can't run around this auditorium all day long. You're going to sit, and you're going to rest that foot so that you're better next week. What? Mackenzie? Look what Miss Abby has for you. Until you have a clean bill of health, your butt is in this chair. Get in it. Come on. When Abby walks into that dressing room with the wheelchair, and she's heading over to McKinsey, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You are not bringing a wheelchair from McKinsey. Now, I don't want your arms sore. That's just a seat for you so that you're not standing. Earlier in the week, Melissa said that Mackenzie didn't want to do the dance because she thought it was too hard. Yeah. So why can't she just say she doesn't want to do exactly. the dance? Maybe Mackenzie was intimidated by the hip hop dance. Maybe she didn't want to just step up and say, it's too hard for me. And so maybe the ankle injury wasn't quite as bad as it was, but it was an out. She's been on it all day. What about you, Mackenzie? How's the foot? She's resting a little bit. But it's... You're resting? What are you resting from? All the cartwheels you were doing? Come on. My eyes and ears are everywhere. Did Mackenzie really think that she was going to do cartwheels and I wouldn't know about it? Mackenzie, if you're faking that injury, there's going to be huge repercussions. She was hopping. Oh, Melissa. She was. I was watching her, Cal. Melissa, don't lie for your kids. I'm not. You I'm lie not enough her. yourself as it is what do you mean without I... lying for her. I was watching her. I think Melissa is covering for Mackenzie. They both need to just fess up and get their punishment over with already. How long? I wasn't on my foot. You weren't on your foot. I don't want to be lied to. I need to get to the bottom of this foot thing. Mackenzie and Melissa, their stories just aren't adding up. There's one way to find out what's really going on. Interrogation tactics. Brooke, I want you to line everybody up right here, facing that way. Come on, let's go. Maddie. Yes, ma'am. Did Mackenzie go to the hospital when she left dance class? Yes, ma'am. Nina. Yes, ma'am. Did you witness Mackenzie doing cartwheels in here? I didn't see her do a cartwheel. Don't you lie to me. I just saw her walk. You saw her walk. Did she limp? Yeah. She doesn't have a broken foot. It's a sprained ankle. You can walk on a sprained ankle. Did anybody else witness Mackenzie out of the chair doing a trick or upside down? Finally, the truth comes out. I knew these kids would crack under pressure. Mackenzie, I'm not very happy. You're playing around and making a joke of it. I don't want a wounded soldier. Paige was in a cast for weeks. Want to get better and you want to be OK for Monday? You stay off it. Soldier, you save those tears for the pillow. We don't have time for tears. My first duet is going to Kendall and Kalani. You are doing a jazz duet. The name of the duet is Grifters. And a grifter is a con artist. I am super excited I have a group dance and a duet this week but my back has been really hurting, so I have to make sure that I'm extra careful. Kalani, what 
is the deal with your mother. She doesn't want to be here, so... That's not okay. Abby has these little underlying digs, so maybe this whole grifter thing is meant for Kira. But then again, Kira probably doesn't even know what a grifter is. Okay, Tano and Kalani, you guys realize to do innovative, to do cool, to do partner work takes time. It takes figuring out. Do you see what I'm saying? You know that. Your mother, not so much. Okay, let me look at it again. Let me look at it again. Kendall and I have a really fast jazz duet this week, which is usually harder than a lyrical dance. So I gotta really power through because my back has been hurting for weeks now and I don't want to let anybody down. My back is killing her. Okay, don't roll on her back again because she's the one with the hurt back. I'm watching rehearsals and I can tell Kalani's in pain. She's just not up to dance right now. If it was my daughter, my daughter would be dancing. I really wish Kira was here to see how much pain Kalani's in. Melissa can take you home and you can get in the ice bath or something. I know I'm gonna do so bad. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. That's all, honey. Come on. 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 Normally, I can push through the pain and I deal with it, but this well, has been hard. Maybe she shouldn't dance this weekend. I think she shouldn't. It's awkward for me because as a mom, I feel one way, and she's not my child. Plus, I don't want to be disrespectful to Kira because I don't know what Kira has said to her. It would be great if Kira was here to be able to say, Kalani, you're not dancing. I don't know if Kira would do that or not. You're the guardian here. You can say, you know what, Kira, I'm here. You're not. If it's up to me, I'm making that call. If you want to override my decision, you need to get here. It's very selfish for her mother not to be here. dancing. I don't know why she's dancing. I'm calling Kara. Hello. Hi. Kalani is dancing, but I, I really don't think it's a great idea. I told her, I told her over and over again, this can injure you later. You can't let it go that far. She's like, I don't want to not dance. And you need to make better. the call because you're the mom. I'm just her guardian. Why don't we get her right okay. now? This is exactly why Kira needs to be here. She needs to put her foot down. Thank goodness Melissa's on top of it and do what's best. I really get it. I'm all the time. I don't think she dance. I just don't want to let like, Kendall down and the group you're down. You're not. The no rock. one's going to get mad at you because you're injured. Never. No. Okay. I can't say that I'm not disappointed. The cards are already stacked against Kendall. I have no idea what's going to happen right now, but one thing is for sure, Kalani can't and shouldn't dance. Kalani, please don't stress okay. about this duet. There's no, I just feel problems. bad. So I have Kira on the phone. Hi. Hi, Abby. So um, Kalani's back has been bothering her. It's so bad right now, and I think it's worse than what she's really sharing with everybody. And I just think she needs to take time off. There's no argument. I'm the first dance teacher that does not want a kid dancing at their heart. Absolutely not. Kalani's mother has made it perfectly clear that she is not to participate in the group dance nor the duet. I respect her mother's wishes. Uh, I just don't respect her mother too much. I just always have Kalani's best interest at heart. And her mom just had a new baby, I understand. But there's a daddy there. So why can't this dad take care of his baby so his wife can come be with her teenager? You okay, Chloe? What's wrong? Just stand. You, you, you can mark the turns. What hurts? All right, sit down for a second. Do you think there's ice? Can I give her some ice? Five, six, seven, eight. As Chloe's seven, rehearsing, five. I really can see that something is wrong. Out. Out. Yeah, it's been bugging you, huh? Is it, is it your same boo boo? Oh, it's a different one. What happened? I don't know. My right ear is tripping. It's your hip flexors. 
if it hurts, I'd rather have you rest and be ready than just to hurt yourself more yeah. in rehearsal. Yeah. I'm worried that Chloe's injured, and I don't want Chloe to injure herself because she's afraid to speak up and say that she's hurt. Open your mouth and say something if your leg hurts, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Thank you. Chloe's actually in pain, but I think she's really holding up well because she knows that this is her week to shine, and I don't think she would give that up for anything.